Welcome to the All Star Channel. Got another mechanical trick and tip here for you. So let's say you're doing a brake job and uh, you've got to remove the caliper and then you've got your caliper bracket which would bolt right here with two bolts. Well that's over on the bench and let me show you what's going on. So what you need to do is when uh, you're doing a brake job you need to make sure that this is where your caliper bolts go here. So they attach in here. This is threaded and you want to make sure that these slides, these caliper bracket, bolt slides, whatever you want to call them, are free. Now they have a rubber boot here and what can happen is, I just disconnected it. Hold on, there's the phone. So these need to slide properly and what will happen is these can rip or water can get in here if they're ripped and corrosion builds up inside there. They need to be lubricated so it's very important that the caliper, the brake caliper actually floats so what I had over here, let me just pop that back on. So what I had over here was a frozen bolt. And what happened is I guess water got in there and it was a real bear. It start, I can't touch it too much. It's still pretty, pretty warm. It's pretty toasty. So what I wanted to do is show you what to do if this happens. So what I do is I peel the boot back. Now I got this one freed up already. I can touch it now. It's just barely warm. And this sucker was not moving. So I tried taking it. A, a chisel or a chisel a punch and hitting it like right behind here with a hammer and trying to drive it out it wouldn't budge so I peeled it back and started spraying some lubricant down into here right down in there some penetrant just took my uh, well this is brake clean but stuck it back in here right down in there sprayed it let it soak then I was beating it on here you know beating with a hammer take your ball peen like that giving it some vibration. I was tapping it here, not to bend it though. It, it turns out that Nissan has discontinued this bracket and you've got to buy it by like Cardone or something. So I want to try to keep it OEM. Anyway, then you bust out your torch. Now, if you don't have a professional torch, you can get one of these. Um, this brand here works good. They have map gas or this propane and then heat it. I heat it right in here. Get it real toasty, real hot. And while I was doing that, I had my vice grips clamped on here, right on this flange. So it's just like that. You see that there? So there's a flange on there. See that edge? So clamp that down. And while I was putting pressure here, I was tapping. I can't do it because I got. Let me uh, let me do it one-handed. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, let's do it old school YouTube. Come on, clamp on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then I was twisting this way while I was giving it vibration in here tapping in here and with the heat and the penetrant in there I was managed to get it wiggle a little bit a little more a little more finally got it out so once you do get it out what you're going to need to do is clean the bore in here so that's called the bore so I take a just one of these bore brushes and which is a little bigger than that size diameter and I'll spray brake clean right in here so I take some of this, just spray it, you can still see this crap coming out. And then just go in and out, just like a, a gun barrel or a pistol barrel, right? And scrub it really good. I did it several times, then I spray in here again, continue to flush it till it comes out clean. With this here, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll get a brass brush. I'm gonna clean up all this goop on here. Now this, this, um, what you might call it, gasket, or not gasket, but seal is still good. The boot is still good. So I'll clean all this up. Let me take it out of there so you can see it. Anyway, here it is here. And this just pops off like that. So just remember the direction, which way it goes. And what I'll do is I'm going to use, look at all that rust on there. Can you see all that in there? That was my headache. So what I'll do now is clean it up and I'm going to put uh, brake grease on it. So let me show you what I like to use. You can use your own flavor. I use this stuff. So after this is all cleaned up, wire brushed, I'll put that up. I'll load it up, put it in here and manually go in and out so it's smooth. And there's not much. I don't have any free play really in here, so it's tight and I can use this again. So. Just wanted to share that tip with you. So with the slide pin all 
cleaned up. I got it wire brushed real nice. Uh, you can use a wire wheel, whatever you have there. I'll take my silicone grease, base grease, brake grease here. You know, it's high temp and it's silicone like we talked about. And I'll just lube this pin up real good. And what I like to do is put it in there and just kind of force it in and out a few times and let that grease coat the inside here so that it's well protected and prevent that rust. And of course I have the boot still off, that's no biggie. We'll put that back on a second. So when I feel comfortable with that, that that's good and that one is good, I take my boot, which is simple enough, and make sure you're in the right direction. They just kind of pop over. If you can't get it over the little lip, just get, take a pick and it should go over there. And um, now all we do is slide this in, hook the boot right over that part, and we're all set. So now we've got you know nice free movement. Now on this, on these other ones, usually on the other end, you've got these rubber uh, kind of bushings in here. I'm not sure if it's picking up. But you definitely want to make sure that you use silicone based uh, brake grease on that. Just put a little on this, clean it all up if you want. I'll go back and do that after and just pop it on. So they're moving nice and free. Now that caliper can float and that's what it needs to do. It needs to be able to move. Once it freezes up, that's a lot of times you'll just get one pad worn down to like nothing and the other one looks brand new. Well, that's because that sucker's probably frozen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick one right there. So. It's pretty simple. Just make sure that when you're doing a brake job that you check those pins. They need to slide. If they're not sliding, they're frozen, there's something wrong there. It's not right. So check that out. Now that also applies to the rear brakes. So thanks for stopping in. I appreciate your time checking out the channel. Subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff below helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.